Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last week, Microsoft rolled out the latest dev and beta channel inside of Preview Builds. So just a quick video if you would be interested to give you a quick overview as to what's new in those Preview Builds. Now, first of all, Microsoft has rolled out Translation, which is now powered by Microsoft Copilot. With Microsoft saying, it's introducing the ability to do translation with Copilot with click to do. So this is obviously for a Copilot Plus PC, which Microsoft says makes it easier for you to translate on-screen text with just a few clicks. So when you select text that is in a different language from your Windows display language or preferred language settings, a translation suggestion will appear. The selected text is then sent to the Copilot app, which provides the translation. Microsoft says this feature currently works if you have the new Copilot prompt box in click to do that began rolling out in the previous flight. This change, Microsoft says, is not yet rolling out to insiders in the EEA or China, so just take note of that. And what we are looking at here is the option to translate to English what's on your screen shown in the click to do context menu. Next up, Microsoft says that when mousing over an opened app window on the taskbar, you will now see an option to share with Copilot where you will be able to quickly start a new conversation with Copilot and use Copilot Vision to scan, analyze and offer insights on what is shown on your screen from that app at that time. And Microsoft said that this is very similar to being able to share a window to Microsoft Teams when mousing over an opened app on the taskbar. And what we are looking at here is Microsoft Copilot Vision controls shown when an edge window is shared. Sharing edge, and I do apologize for the quality of this image and these images, they're not very good from the change log that Microsoft has provided. And then next up, I'm just gonna mention is for Desktop Spotlight, where Microsoft says it's gonna be trying out a change that adds learn more about this background and next desktop background to the context menu. When you click on your desktop, if you have Windows Spotlight chosen as your desktop background. So basically, when this does roll out, you'll be able to have learn more about this background in this menu and also an option for next desktop background, which I actually think is nice because then you can change your Spotlight without having to actually click on the Spotlight icon on your desktop. And just on a side note, I don't use Spotlight anymore on any of my devices because Spotlight for me on my Windows 11 device has been broken since October last year. The pictures don't change. And on my Windows 10 device since April this year, they don't change. So I just hope, so I just wish Microsoft would fix that before they roll out other changes. But nonetheless, I do think that next desktop background would be a nice move if you are using Spotlight and it does actually work for you. And then for the next, if we head to our settings accounts. Microsoft says that email and accounts on this page is now called your accounts, which it says reflects a more unified and streamlined way to stay connected across Windows and your apps. And then over and above that, guys, we get some fixes and then we also get some known issues because Obviously, these are preview builds, so known issues are expected to some degree or the other. And just a quick reminder that insiders in the dev channel receive updates based on Windows 11 version 25H2. And insiders in the beta channel receive updates based on Windows 11 version 24H2. And the reason that the builds are featuring to some degree or the other almost identical features is because 25H2, when it does roll out shortly, is going to be based on top of 24H2, and 25H2 will be enabled using a small enablement package, so that's why things are very similar. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.